In this demo, I'm going to create a new Azure AD web application registration using the Azure AD Admin Center, as well as a .NET Core console app to query Microsoft Graph. I'm going to issue a lot of requests in parallel to trigger these requests to be throttled. Uh, and this application is going to allow you to see the responses that you're going to receive. I'm going to start by launching the, the browser, navigating to the Azure AD Admin Center at aad.portal.azure.com. Now in the left-hand menu, I'm going to select the Azure AD um, icon, and then I'm going to choose from the Manage section, App Registrations. On the App Registration page, I'm going to select New Registration, and on the Register and Application page, I'm going to create a new Graph app. So it's going to be called the Graph Console app. And for the supported account types, I'm going to leave it set to the single tenant. And then I'm going to select Register. Now there's a few values that you see here on this overview page that you're going to want to keep track of uh, for your application that we're going to need later. So I'm going to launch uh, Visual Studio Code just to act as a little uh, notepad for myself. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to copy the application ID And I'm going to save these three values, the application ID. I'm going to also grab the tenant ID. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to set up uh, a platform configuration. So I'm going to select authentication from the menu, and I'm going to add a platform. And because we're building a console app, I'm going to choose a mobile and desktop applications. And in the redirect URI section, I'm going to choose the native client, uh, and then select the configure button. Now, in addition, I'm going to scroll down a little bit farther and I'm going to select on for the public flows or the public public client flows. I'm going to select yes for uh, allowing uh, mobile and desktop flows. Um, this is going to allow us to use the resource owner password credential flow, which is just a very simplified way uh, for us to handle authentication as we want to focus on the actual Microsoft Graph piece to this and not so much uh, all the details around creating different, um, supporting different OAuth flows and different access options we have with Azure Active Directory. So then I'll go ahead and select save. The next step is to select the permissions that our application is going to need. So I'm going to select API permissions. Now let's go add a permission to our app that we're going to need to uh, access um, the user's mail. So I'm going to go to the API permissions page on the Azure AD app, and then I'm going to select add a permission. It's going to be a graph permission for delegated permissions. And I'm going to look for the permission mail.read. I'll go ahead and select that, and then select add permissions. And then I'm going to select the grant admin consent, followed by yes. Now, the option to grant admin consent here in the Azure AD Admin Center, uh, what that's doing is pre-consenting the permissions for all the users and the tenant, just to simplify this demo. Um, this approach allows the console app to use the resource owner password credential grant, so that the user isn't going to have to uh, be prompted to grant consent to the application. And that's just going to simplify the process of obtaining our OAuth access token, because I want to focus on the graph um, aspects of this and not so much on all the authentication options we have with Azure AD apps. We could elect to implement an alternative uh, authentication option, such as the device code flow, to utilize dynamic consent as another option. But I just chose to go this approach just to keep things simple.